All right. I love drawing on pen tablets and I have just upgraded from my previous pen tablet and I am upgrading to this one which is the Huion Canvas Pro 19. Huion, Huion from the Epiglottis. No. <coughs> it's a touch screen tablet as you can see. How good is the touch screen? This pen tablet comes with two pens and not just one. We are going to talk about that as well. Is this the perfect mid-range budget friendly pen tablet you should go for? I am going to answer each one of them. Stay tuned. Welcome to Clay Brush. Are you leaving me? What? This is just for the review. I am going to put you back on my desk and start working with you. But you have a new tablet on your desk. Yes, but I am going to keep both of you. That's worse. I guess this size, which is 19 inches, uh, which is actually 18.4 inches, is uh, new because I have been reviewing uh, tablets from 12 to 13, 16, 20, 22, 24 inches and the largest 32 inch. And after testing a lot of display tablets, I can say that for this particular size and ratio, we need at least 2.5K resolution. And this one is a 4K. I guess this 4K display is going to be really valuable for those people who are into high resolution photo editing also into 3d modeling in blender in maya and zbrush because then you can you know zoom in completely into the details and you know do the changes and corrections besides the 4k display the next thing which surprised me is the weight of this thing this is almost two kgs i guess uh, 1.8 kgs which is almost half of my previous so i am fat now sorry the technology which comes with these two pens, it's called Pentec 4.0 and Huion is boasting about, you know, they have made these pens much better than the previous pens. But while using them, I didn't find uh, a lot of difference from the previous pens. But there is one extra button on this fatter pen. Also, both the pens come with the back eraser options as well. Uh, but I really like the extra shortcut button on this one. There are no shortcuts in love, my friend. Inside the well-packaged box, we get this 19-inch tablet, a pen box with two pens and extra nibs inside it. We get these two USB-C cables. This red one is for power supply and this other one is for the computer connection. Because I'm using a MacBook Pro and this Windows laptop, I can switch between the two computers with just one USB-C cable. If you have a computer or a desktop with different ports, you can go with this 3-in-1 cable provided inside the box. We also get this microfiber cloth and a hand glove for palm rejection. If you lose this one, you are certainly going to feel a lot of glitches. At the top, we have a power button and one switch to toggle the touch screen function on and off. On the right side, we have two fully featured USB-C ports for power and computer connectivity, accompanied by a 3.5 mm jack. This particular tablet doesn't come with a stand. Huion tablets are supposed to come with a stand because they have been doing it, you know, forever. So this tablet has these two legs instead. They give a decent angle for drawing, but I prefer a stand for more comfortable drawing position. So now I am going to use the same stand from my old pen tablet. This can be done easily with any other kind of stand with the presence of Visa mount at the back of Canvas Pro 19. Why don't you take my heart out and use it as a stand? I am going to give that stand back to you after this video is done. Promises. The display is an IPS panel with 4K UHD resolution. Higher resolution means there are no more visible pixels on the screen. Hence, you can work on a large size artwork easily and more real estate for multiple applications and a longer timeline for your videos to edit. Peak brightness is 220 nits and here is a comparison between my MacBook Pro which has a peak brightness of 1000 nits. This tablet comes with different color modes just like your television. I use the default settings while creating this character and it just felt right. Both the pens feel great in hand, it totally depends what you feel comfortable with. One pen is slightly thinner than the other one. Both feels great quality wise and ergonomically they are well designed. This thicker pen has a third button which is totally customizable like the other two buttons. These pens are also equipped with the back eraser feature. But for me, it's easier to use the keyboard shortcut than, you know, flipping your pen all the time. The other pen is without a grip and it feels more like a regular pencil. It's lighter, it's thinner, 
and more comfortable for longer use especially if you have uh, small hands or small fingers this one is for you apart from this there are some extra nips and my favorite these felt tip nips for extra grip between the display and the pen it will give you a good feedback like a natural pencil though this display is an etched glass this is not a smooth glass it's like 70 percent similar experience when you draw on a real paper with pencil but what i like is the ergonomically well designed body of the pen the grip which feels like a part of the pen one particular thing which i have noticed is a very good iaf response which is initial activation force which means when you are drawing or sketching or scribbling this pen is able to detect the slightest pressure when you are drawing tilt functionality works as good as it can for shading and mixing colors especially when i'm using mixer brushes and charcoal pencils in clip studio paint for shading okay here i have to say that if you want to experience the full potential of these pens you have to try clip studio paint these pens also shine at 3d sculpting as well though i'm not into it but i was thoroughly enjoying playing around in blender with this pen and the touch screen features at this moment the touch screen works with windows only it supports all windows gestures with a 10 point capacitive touch feature this glove is for palm rejection and when you are not see when you are not using it it does weird things which it is not doing right now but it actually misfires that's why you need this one to reduce palm rejection i would not say it cancels it completely this part it cancelled completely but if you want to zoom in and zoom out you can still do it with your with your fingers the display panel is fully laminated which means there is no air gap between the top glass and the real display underneath hence the gap between the nib and the stroke appearing on the display is very less huion is trying to develop this 19 inch category which is a new space if you look at wacom cintiq pro 16 they are going to cost you a fortune but i believe this is going to be a lot more cheaper than the Wacom Cintiq Pros. Uh, here artists are always looking for a perfect package, the value for money package. And this one seems like one. Uh, when it comes to touch screen, no, it is not as flowy or as fluid as an iPad. It cannot be because it's, it's hardware plus software, the software optimization. So Apple is doing its own thing. We can keep that aside. But when it comes to display pen tablets, this touch screen is I think I should say it's it's one of the best about the Pentec 4.0 it's it it sounds very delicious but it's not very noticeable while drawing and painting but it's there only slight changes slight improvements make things so much better that you don't even realize during a longer run that is happening here so one thing which I found missing from the whole package is the back stand the adjustable stand which I have just installed from my previous tablet and I would suggest if you are buying this tablet you should go for the adjustable stand the next thing which I need to talk about is the simplicity of the whole thing now you don't need a three in one cables and I think most of the tablets in the market are coming with the same idea that it should not be complicated for the new artist you just attach a usb-c cable to the power and usb-c cable to your computer you are sorted and that's what is happening here i also have to talk about the overall build quality of the thing though it's oops i accidentally switched it off even the pen box this feels very solid in hand even the pen box has these rubber grips you know underneath so that it doesn't slide off i'm not a brand loyal person but i like when one brand is continuously working to improve their products for the people who are going to use their products and those are us digital artists i'm going to remind you here that it's not a cheap thing for most of the artists who are getting into digital art it's still a very expensive thing but if you already have so much money to spend on pen tablets this is value for money that is going to be my verdict for this product if you like this video you can hit the like button you can share this video with you know people artists who are trying to buy a new display pen tablet there are going to be short videos on this channel related to this product you can subscribe hit the bell icon and i'll see you next time subscribe now.